Hello everyone, welcome back to Andrina's Creations. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to customize these travel um, coffee cups from the Dollar Tree. You're gonna see how easy it is. I'm also going to be showing you how to create your own template. But if you don't want to create your own template, just feel free to go to my website, andrinascreations.com and purchase my template. I would really appreciate it. But like I said, I will be also showing you how to create your own and I'll be using Silhouette Studio. So, okay, so here it is. All right, guys, let's get started. For your materials, you're going to need paper of choice. I'll be using glossy paper. You do not need to use glossy paper. You can use any paper of your choice. Cardstock, regular printing paper is totally up to you. Now, the paper that I'll be using today is from Office Depot, 50 pounds, and is for inkjet and laser. I do have an inkjet printer. You're also going to be needing your printer of choice, measuring tape, regular tape, and your cups i get them online so this is why it's wrapped i got a pack of 24 shipped to my house or you could get it shipped to the store or you can go to your local dollar tree and see if you could already find them um individually i know at the store they have different color lids you're also going to be using your computer or laptop or anything wherever you're designed and software of choice i'll be using silhouette studio so let's get started you're going to open one of your cups you're going to take the design that's already inside. And you are going to measure this. This is why I said you need a measuring tape. Once you measure it, you know the height and width that you're going to need. And that is the measurement that you are going to add to the software that you're going to be using. So measure your width and height and write that down. And now let's get ready to design going to be doing is open up your software i'll be using silhouette studio and before we start i always say that you can use this software without owning a cutting machine basic edition is free i do use business edition it is a one-time payment and you could get it cheaper from swingdesign.com so as you can see business edition at the moment of this video right now is 59.99 Original price is a hundred dollars. Check down below for my affiliate link from Swing Design And then I also have a separate tutorial on how to download this software Now I'm going to be teaching you how to make the template But if you only have silhouette studio the basic edition you are not going to have the warp um, Icon so you're gonna have to either buy the template from me or you can just upgrade to business edition, but I'll be teaching you how to make the template. Also, if you have a Cricut, I will also provide the SVG template and all you have to do is open up Cricut. After you open up Cricut, you're gonna go to upload and upload your SVG. And I also provide the measurements because Cricut users have to resize the template, okay? Now, to make the template, I am going to show you the easy way. Is this the way how you do a warp um, shape? No, but I'm going to show you how easy it is the way I'm going to show you. Again, this is not the actual way you do it. I'm not going to teach you the other way because it's just too complicated and I don't want to just make this video so long. So I'm going to show you how to achieve it really quick. You're going to go to your left on your icons. You're going to graph the rectangle shape. After you make a rectangle, I'm going to go to the paint fill palette on my right. It looks like the paint palette and I'm just going to color it black on the screen so you can see it. So I have a shape. It's any size shape. I'm going to make sure my shape is selected. Up here it says width and on the width I'm going to type 8.78 and enter. And on my height I'm going to type... 4.65 and enter after I enter these measurements I am going to go to the warp icon all the way on my right when I click on the icon it's going to say it's going to have the cup it's going to have three options so I'm going to click on the cup after I click on the cup I'm going to click where it says conical warp selected shapes after I do that I'm just going to go click somewhere else on my screen click on the template 
and click where it says convert to path okay after I convert this to path now you see that the template it's much is a different size than what I wanted so I'm going to go back to my width and I'm going to type 8.78 enter and on my height I'm going to type 4.65 and enter and this is my template right here and you can change it any color of your choice and that's how I made this template for this cup now if you don't have the warp icon just go, go to my website andrinascreations.com and purchase the template okay if you don't want to do all that extra work one day I will show you the real way on how to make the warp template okay all right from here I am going to start designing this also on your page setup is your first icon is the paper icon where it says media size you need to make sure that your paper size is selected to 8.5 by 11 okay because that is the paper size that I'm going to be printing on where it says orientation I'm gonna put it on landscape okay and also where it says transparency mine is on zero some people have it on 100 but mine is on zero so I can see the white paper now you can start designing I have the newest version um, when I download it on my laptop so I have silhouette business edition version 4.4 meaning when I bring in a PNG image to my software it automatically traces depending on which version you have you might have version 4.2 4.3 it's not going to automatically trace your PNG so you have to automatically trace it okay okay so I'm going to select my template I'm going to go to my fill panel which is the paint palette and I'm going to color this black okay now you're going to go to Google or wherever you get your images Etsy Google wherever you find your um, images and I want PNG images so I looked up go back, movie themed PNG and enter and then click where it says images it's gonna say all shopping and images I'm going to click on images and when I click on an image you're going to see that there is gray and white rectangles in the back that means is a PNG image a PNG means it is a transparent background image then you're gonna right click and save the image to your computer okay so you're gonna go ahead and save all the images that you want after you save all the images on your computer then you're gonna go to back to silhouette you're gonna go to file you're gonna go to merge and you're gonna look up the image that you saved and then once you click on the image you're gonna click on OK once you bring it in because remember I have version 4.4 it automatically traces the image for me as you can see it has the red outline that means it's traced I'm just gonna click on it I'm gonna go to my outline panel that's under my fill panel click on the color option and click on no color the no color is the one that has lines around it okay I don't want this image like this so there's a green button right here I'm gonna hold down my shift key click on that green button that my image has and I'm going to rotate it making sure that I have the shift key selected so it can stay straight as you can see my template I have it black and my image also has black and you can barely see it okay so while my image is selected I just want to put like a soft white outline so I'm gonna go back to my outline click on the color white you might think that right now it's white but the thing is that you don't have the thickness up so if you go print this that white is not going to show so while you're in the outline panel go to the first option where it says thickness go up one okay and now it's on 0 0.25 now when you do print it is gonna be white don't forget that step place your image where you want it and the zoom in and zoom out button it's right here so the plus sign is to zoom in the minus sign is to zoom out I'm going to make sure I have this image where I want it I'm gonna click somewhere here on my screen drag it to select both right click and 
group it together so everything moves as one okay I'm gonna go back to file merge get another image and click on OK I want to add a red outline on this so while I'm on my outline panel go up the thickness at least two so 0 0.50 then, no, I'm going to go just 0 0.25, click on the color, and I'm going to click on the dropper that's in my outline color, and then come over here and select that same red, that same color red there, so I'm going to have that same color outline. If I zoom in, you can see the outline color. I'm going to make it smaller, just by selecting them squares that are around your image you can go in and out to um put your image smaller or bigger i don't like to distort my images and pulling from the sides like that and stuff like that to undo there's a backwards arrow up here and that's how you undo i'm going to select everything by dragging my mouse and i'm going to go to my transform panel click on center and then click to the top, center to the top, so I make sure this is centered. Now, as you can see, this has some lines around it, and I don't want that. So I'm going to go to my left, click on the oval shape rectangle, make a rectangle, oval rectangle inside of here, the same shape. I'm going to go to the fill panel and select the color white. And I'm going to adjust it to cover the bottom. While it's selected, I'm going to go to the outline panel, go up my thickness, and I'm going to color and I'm going to select the color black of the outline. Okay? Then I'm going to select that shape that I did. Hold down my shift key, click on that image, right click and group it so it can move together. Now I'm going to go to the A on my left, my A on my right, select a font. You can download free fonts from thefont.com, select a font and start typing. You need to get off the edit mode, so select somewhere else on your screen to get off the edit mode. Click back on your font, go to the fill panel, select the color that you would like. You're going to size it by just dragging them uh, white rectangles around it. Go to my outline color and click on no color. So that's how it's looking so far. Now you're going to go back to file, go to merge and keep adding all your images. As you can see, this soda is facing to my left. I want it to face to my right, so I'm going to select it, right click, and flip horizontally to go that way. And remember to remove the outline color. So I want the popcorn and the soda to be in front of the uh, reel. So I'm going to click on the popcorn, click on the soda, right click and bring to front. Because this is black, 
I want to add an outline color. I'm going to add a white and bring up the thickness. So I don't know if I mentioned it at the beginning, but while you're designing, make sure that one of the sides of your template, either the left or the right, that you don't add your design all the way to the template because both sides are going to overlap in the cup. So if you add something all the way to the edge here, you're not going to be able to see it. So make sure that you can have something flush on one side, but not on the other side because it's going to overlap. And to duplicate the same image, all you gotta do is click on it, right click, and duplicate. Okay, so this image is just a black PNG image of this shape, right? I told you that I have version 4.4, so it automatically traces this image for me when you bring it into Silhouette. When you go to File Merge, it automatically traces for me. If you don't have this version of 4.4, you're going to have to trace this. And how do you trace this? You're going to go to your Trace panel on your right click select trace area make a box around your image wait till it turns yellow once it turns yellow you can click on trace and then it's trace for you because I have version 4.4 is automatically trace for me so all I have to do is click on the image and I can go to the fill panel click on my dropper and I want it to be a color gray from here. So I'm just going to go inside of my design and click on the color gray that I like. And my image turns gray. I'm going to go to my outline panel, click on color and no color so I can not have them red outline. Now I only want two of them. So I'm going to go to my knife tool on my left, hold down my shift key. And cut down straight where I want it to be delete that other part now I do have um, permission to use these images in this video I did ask the parent so I'm gonna click on the image right click send to the back and I am going to size the image to fit behind my rectangle and all you have to do is when your customers send your pictures all you have to do is save them to your computer and then you go to file and merge and bring in the picture like that or if they send it to you through Facebook all you gotta do is copy and paste or even from your email, you can copy and paste. Once my two pictures are there, I'm going to drag my mouse and select everything, right click and group it together. And now this is grouped.
Now you see that this is in the front of my clapboard. So I'm gonna group movie night and the clapboard together. And then the, how you group it is you just click on an image, hold down your shift key, select the other one, and then everything selected together and you right click and group. I'm gonna click on it, right click and bring to the front. And then also my 3D glasses, right click and bring to the front. All right, so I am satisfied on how this looks. You're gonna design it however you would like. Just remember to leave space on one side because they are going to overlap. Once you are satisfied, you're gonna either save this to your computer as a silhouette file because let's say someone else wants the same design all you gotta do is come back and change some um, images or the font or the words to a different name so you're gonna go to file you're gonna go to save save to hard drive and you're gonna save this as a silhouette file also if you are selling this to a customer only with business edition you are able to save this as a PDF file so when you go to file save you're gonna go to portable document format that is a pdf file and then the sizes and the font doesn't change and your customer can print it and cut it okay once you have everything saved to print you are going to go you are sorry you are going to go to your printer icon you're going to go to print you're going to select the printer that you are using um, I just recently bought an eco tank so I'm going to select my eco tank 16600 okay then I'm gonna click on preferences I'm gonna print from my paper tray where it says paper source my document size is 8 by 11 orientation remember it's landscape and I, my paper type I like to print on premium presentation paper matte my here it says copies I need to print 12 so you're gonna put how many copies you need and then click on OK and then print when I print I'll be right back
All right, guys, here is the final result of the cups. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and comment down below if you are going to be trying them. If you do, please feel free to join my crafting group on Facebook. It is called Andrina's Creations Crafting Lounge. I would like to see your pictures of what you create. Also, don't forget if you would like to purchase anything from me, feel free to message me on Facebook or Instagram at Andrina's Creations LLC or email me at andrinascreations at yahoo.com. So here is, like I said, the final results. And I hope y'all seen the trick that I did with the tape. I put the tape in the front. I closed the, the top really tight, put the tape right here in the front because I want it, when the kids drink out of the cup, everyone sees the design in the front, okay? You don't have to put it like that, but I just prefer the design just like it, okay? All right, guys, I hope everyone's having a blessed day. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.